All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakam Kadash, Rakatham. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the well, and a salute and a Shalom. To all the Akim that are out here laboring and pushing his truth in all sincerity and in truth. Uh, real quick lesson. Uh, on being carnal, at least to death, all right? This is Romans 8 and 6. It says, it says, it says, uh, this is Romans 8 and 6. It says, uh, uh, well, I'll start at, uh, Five. It says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. For they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit, right? So it says, For to be carnally carnal, minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Alright, man? So, alright, man? So being spiritually minded, alright? Uh, when you see all of these things happening, man, right? Uh, when you see uh, Jay getting shot in the street, man, right? When you uh, when you see the weapons that 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 uh, 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 Esau got, you know his uh, tanks and all that, man, you are not worried about it. Why? Because you're being spiritually minded, man. All right, and you know that it says in uh, Isaiah, I think. Isaiah 54 and 16, I believe it's a, uh, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Let's see if I can find that. No, no kind is uh it's Isaiah fifty four and seventeen. It says, "No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper." In every tongue, that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of Yahweh. And their righteousness is of me, says Yahweh, right? So, all right, man. <clears throat> so when we see these things, man, all right, those of us that are in the spirit that's not being carnal, man, all right, we're not worried about it, man. All right, man, like that one uh, Jake, man, he, uh, uh, he said, uh, um, they got tanks, they got weapons and all this, right? And he said, uh, um, yeah, Israelites are still waiting for someone to come out of the sky and, re and rescue you. Well, the scriptures do say that we are supposed to wait on, wait on who? Wait on Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. <clears throat> I'm getting sick, man. I'm getting sick. This is, uh, Zephaniah 3 and 8. They say, Therefore wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation. Right? Even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured. Shlagi Khan says, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Right? So we're waiting on who? On Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. 
Why? Well, we have faith and we are spiritual men, right? So there's no no need to fret. There's no need to fret, man. There's, there's no need to worry, man. Why? Because, man, we already have the victory anyway. I know I read this in my... My last lesson, I did uh, uh, um, um, earlier while I was at work. Uh, Psalms 37. Ooh. This is uh, uh, Psalm 37 and 1 It says Fret not thyself because of evildoers Neither be envious against the workers of iniquity Right Now let's get that Psalms 37 and 1. Fret. The Hebrew word for that is chara. All right? Chara. It means this. To be hot, be furious, burn, become angry. Right? Displeased, grieve. All right, man. So don't be grieved, man. All right, man. We know what what you saw is going to come with, man. We know it. We've been warned about it, man. But guess what, though, man? We're not worried about it. Why? Because what you saw has is nothing compared to what Yahweh and Yahweh Shah have, man. Like, who do you think gave you saw the sword? Jacob did. I mean, it's like it. It's like it. It's like it. Who do you think gave Esau the sword? Sword, man. Isaac did, right? And Isaac was who? I mean, and, and Isaac is who, man? Isaac is Yahweh right? So who is coming to get us, man? Yahweh is. Okay? So what Esau has is nothing compared to what Yahweh and uh, to what Yahweh and Yahweh Shah got. Because who's going to, to take the sword from Esau? Yahweh Shah is. Isaac is, man. See? Let's see real quick. Fret. The definition. Fret. It says this. Be constantly or visibly worried or anxious. Worry. So don't worry, man. Stop tripping, man. Don't worry about nothing, man. Don't worry. All right? There's no point in worrying, man. It says, the, the scripture says, man, fret not. Right? It says this. Fret not thyself because of evil doers. Neither be weary. So like it says, neither be envious against the workers of iniquity, right? For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb, right? So Esau Edom, he's about to get cut down, man. He's about to go into slavery, man. Okay? So what's the point of worrying, man? There's no point in it. back this is uh romans uh it's not here let's get galatians 8 and 6 no it's not here galatians 6 and 8 i'm tripping okay galatians 6 and 8 it says for he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh Reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap everlasting. So like it shall reap life everlasting, right? So 
when you are constantly uh, giving into the flesh, then it's, it's going to be easier for you to to uh, to worry, man. Right? Meaning what? Well, what, man? Meaning when when uh meaning when uh when when there is a famine of food, okay, and you haven't eaten. Uh, uh, um, in 24 hours, guess what, man? You're going to be worried, man. All right? And when you start to worry, you start to make irrational decisions, man. Right? You, you start doing stupid shit. Okay? It says, because the Carnal mind is enmity against Yahweh, for it is not subject to is not subject to the law of Yahweh, neither indeed can be. Right? It says, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please Yahweh. So if you are constantly in the flesh, man, if you are in the flesh, you can't please please Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, man. Right? Alright, man. So if you so if you are being being a carnal man, you're not going to please Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. You're not. Right? It say, hold on. First Corinthians. Hold on. Okay. That's something else. Alright, it says, but ye, I feel like it says, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so, be that the spirit of Yahweh that dwell in you. Now, if any man hath not the spirit of a Mashiach, he is none of his. Right? So, being carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace, man. Right, man? So, so, so we are at peace, man. Why? Why, man? Why? Because, man, we know that Yahweh Bashamel Shah will redeem us from the hands of Esau. We know that, man. That's why we're not worried about it, man. That's not well, that's why we're not worried about what Esau has going on, man. I mean, that's why we're not tripping about it, man. Because we know this man cannot do anything without. Yahweh, Yahweh shall allowing it, man. Okay? Let's get this on. Let's get this on. This is Romans 8 and 6. Let's get some precepts. Get some, let's get some more precepts real quick. Okay, this is uh, Romans 7 and uh, 5 to 11. It says, it says, uh, it says, for when we were in the flesh, the motions of sins, which were by the law, did work in us, like it did work in our members to bring forth the fruit of kind, to bring forth fruit unto death. Right? So, constantly being in the flesh, it leads to death. Okay? that one. Let's get Romans 13 and 14. Romans 13 and 14. Kind of says, 
but it says, God says, uh, it says, but put ye on, uh, Swaggy, God, it says, but, Swaggy says, but put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Shabashiach, and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Right, man? So, don't give in to the flesh, man. All right, man? Now, of course, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Right? But, these japes that's worrying, man, those are the ones that don't have faith, man. They they don't have faith, right? So they will will make dumbass statements like that one Jake said in that video, right? Saying uh uh saying uh uh uh, uh, uh these Edomites got guns, got tanks and all this, man. What are we gonna do? What you mean? What are we gonna do? We gonna wait. We gonna wait, wait, bro. What is there to do, man? Esau's blessing is the sword. All right, man. Jacob's blessing is 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 what, man? Spiritual power, along with inheriting the whole earth, man. So, so which is better? Which is better, man? Being blessed with spiritual power and 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 inheriting the whole planet Earth, Earth, man, or picking up guns and shit and 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 defending yourself for what? Esau's blessed is the sword, man. He specializes in that. He specializes in the sword, man. Let him deal with that, Jay. You deal with these scriptures, man, and you, and you deal with the spirit, the power of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, man. Galatians 5 and 22, right? Pass it up. Okay. Galatians 5 and 22, it says this. It says, it says, uh, I'll start at 17. It says, for the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to another, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are these. Now these are the works of the flesh. Right? It says, um, adultery, right? Fornication, uncleanness, Lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, uh, uh, um, variance, uh, uh, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, and heresies, right? Uh, uh, um, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revering, and such like of the which I tell you, as I have told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh, right? So if you're constantly in the flesh, Jay, you won't inherit the kingdom, man, on the first go-round, right? But you will be in the kingdom, though, man, all right? Through, all right, man, because you will come back through, through the loins of the elect, okay? So, Jake, you will inherit the kingdom, though, but you will have to die on this side and then come back. says but the fruit of the spirit now this is the, the fruit of the spirit right it says kind of says but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace long suffering uh gentleness goodness faith right so if you're in the flesh jack and you're worrying you don't have faith faith man you you don't have faith faith bro 
Come on, up. Right? Now, long suffering is what? Patience, man. Patience. Okay? Mm -hmm. Is, right meekness temperance balance uh, against such there is no law right let's get this it says uh, and they that are, are Hamashiachs have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust right if we live in the spirit let us also walk in the spirit let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another and envying one another. Provoking. Let's see. What does provoking mean? Provoking. Strong's G. I don't know. Uh. Procleo. Or is it Procleo? Strong's G, 4292. Prakaleo. Okay. Prakaleo. The Hebrew, the Sloan, like the Greek word for uh, provoking is uh, Prakaleo. All right, Prakaleo. It says to call forth to challenge to a combat or contest with one. <clears throat> right? So what is Jake doing, man? Jake could go out there, right? And march and all this. Like that's gonna gonna do something. Okay. Then they what what man? Then they they challenge they challenge uh, Esau to a uh, to a combat, and Jake ends up getting taken down. Why? Because Jake got shot. Why? Because Jake wants to be carnal. Jake don't want to be spiritual. Jake want to always be in the flesh. Come on, man. Jake, that's stupid, man. You 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 are carnal and those of us that have faith which faith is a gift right you're mad at us because we have faith in what the scriptures say but Jake who delivered us it's like it, but Jake who delivered us from Egypt though man Now Moses came here. But who delivered us, Jake? Yahweh Shah did. Right? Yes, he did. So, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, he's going to come and deliver us from this Egypt, man. See? All right, man. So, Jake, so, so with that. I say shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakam Kodash. Level honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone. They were well in the salute and the shalom to all the Aki that are out here laboring, pushing the truth in all sincerity and the truth. And with that, I say shalom.